My name is Patrick Murphy Racy. I'm a Sony artisan and I've been shooting sports professionally for about 30 years. Um, over the years, uh, a lot of people have asked me, you know, like, what's the trick? And so here's a few tips for you. Number one, turn auto ISO off. You really need to be in total control of your exposure to really appropriately cover sports, especially when you consider the uniform colors, like some people wear black at home and black backgrounds. It, you're just going to get in, in trouble with auto ISO. Second thing is shoot in manual exposure. Um, go for the highest shutter speed possible, open up your lens as wide as it will go, and then let the ASA go where it goes. It doesn't matter about noise, it matters that you stop the action, that's very important. Um, the last, last thing I would say is you really want to get as close as you possibly can and use the longest lens possible so as to blow out the background and not have the background fighting with your subject or your, your foreground action. And then the very last thing is, you know, really look for true moments. Um, if you have a camera that has a really fast motor drive, um, really I would tell a lot of people, if you're really trying to get good at it, precision is the king. So shoot single exposure, single frame your way through the sport until you really understand it, and then you can turn your motor drive on. But until you know what the moment is, the peak moment of action in whatever sport you're covering, really you're better off to single frame it until you can get that perfect moment, that frozen moment that shows the absolute peak of the action, whatever it is.